Hello, Carla Sweet from Scrap and Create, and today I am here to do a reveal of Stamperia's newest collection, Sir Vagabond in Fantasy World. So let's have a look. We're going to start with the 12 by 12 paper, 10 double um, faced sheets. So right off, we have some cutouts, some sentiments, some tags, and a strip down here. Just bring this a little bit closer so you can kind of see. Traveling is all about exploring an unknown world and learning about yourself. So true. Here we have Sir Vagabond in his library. I'm not sure what mystical creature this is but pretty, a pretty setting here. And here we come to a lot of gears and some astrological symbols here. This is pretty, here we have, this is a griffin. The body um, of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. So I'm pretty sure that's a griffin. Some more astrological symbols. Ooh, this is pretty. Here we kind of have the, the universe, the solar system, the cosmos, with some more gears, astrological symbols. And we here we come to this beautiful girl in this, this world, this mystical world. So you can get a close-up of her and the details of her. Very pretty. Very pretty colors in this collection. Oh, I like this. I like this swirling and some gold flakes up and through here. Some more mystical creatures, some more gears. And here we have some cards, some cutouts. And I believe these are five and a half by three and a half, and these are five and a half by five and a half inch squares up here, so nice size cut aparts. Make them into tags. Love the back side of these. I just, oh, look at that strength. <laughs> Get it in frame. Beautiful colors there. Now, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous page. The colors in this rose, um, the rusted images here. Let me bring this up for a close-up so you can see the detail in that rose. And then the rusted images on the side here. Beautiful colors. I'm from New Mexico, so anything with turquoise, I just love and more turquoise. And this has kind of like a gold shimmer to it. You can tell on this page. Beautiful, beautiful coloring in here. Interesting page. Um, a Roman, a Roman image, a moth, a flower made from gears. And you can see the cosmos, the universe in the background here. Now, I love these kind of images. I love this dark pattern. Very pretty, very pretty with the turquoise, dark, the dark coloring, dark blues, very pretty. A mirror with some gears called the Magic Mirror. A little tone down here, I like that. That's pretty with the, got a butterfly. Lots of detail in these images. 
Here's a little Strange Travels. Another mystical creature. An old steam locomotive. Like this. Like the coloring. Some more astrological symbols. And here we have Sir Vagabond, Endless Journey, Statue of Liberty, the Cosmos in the background. Um, another, another mystical creature. And a pretty neutral paper here. Let's see, yeah. Neutral paper here with a bunch of different gears and other images, astrological images, and then some circular cutouts. See all those circular cutouts? Very pretty, very pretty. Love this flower, love that flower, that flower too. Oh, love this paper. Love this, this paper. Not too, not too busy, not too crazy. And then a sheet of different cut aparts. So that is the 12 by 12. And then we also have the background images, which I, I love background images from Stamperia. And a lot of them you can use in other Stamperia collections too. Let's see how these look. Oh, start off with some turquoise and beige tan gears, lots of them. Some more gears with this beautiful turquoise. I love these astrological symbols. More gears, all different types, beautiful colors, a nice muted, muted page. This is nice if you want a nice muted background. This is similar, but different color. I like this color, um, this natural earthy tan type color, terracotta type. This is pretty, this is, this is pretty. I think this was in the 12 by 12 collection, the same image with this butterfly. Okay, I love this. I love this. I love the coloring. I love the imagery. Not, I don't see any gears in there. It's just beautiful. I love this. I love this too. The chocolate brown with the turquoise. That's so pretty. Now this is a pretty standard Stamperia um, background. Has some turquoise and gold flakes on the side that you can use um, probably with other Stamperia collections. Pretty neutral. This one's very pretty too with those white flowers and the bluish background and the gold speckles. That's pretty. Am I saying that's pretty enough? <laughs> Everything's so pretty. Oh, wow, look at this. I love, I love this one too. Oh, well, um, look at this. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I love, I love this. The gold and the dark colors. This is just 
I almost want to frame this one. It's just so pretty. Oh. Now this is a, a pretty standard Stamperia background. Can go with other Stamperia collections, so it's nice. Not too busy. Nice coloring. Same thing with this one, a neutral, neutral color, nothing crazy. The chocolate again. Did we see this chocolate one in this collection? Or it was this one. This and this. So they're they're different, but the same coloring. Like that chocolate and turquoise. A muted image. Muted coloring. Oh, this is pretty. This is the same image as on this side, but more in the, the light turquoise with the gold um, flakes in there. So you can see the gold in there. And another classic um, neutral background that you can use in other collections for other collections too. Oh, wow like this one too. Another neutral image you can use in other collections. That is, I love chocolate, chocolate and turquoise. And here is this dark color. And here you can see the cosmos in the background. This is so gorgeous. like this one too. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love those colors. Look, at, you can't see, but look at those colors. They probably don't look as good on video as they do in, in real life. Some more gorgeous um, colors, combinations, cosmos in the background. That's the backgrounds. I I love this background paper. And of course, it's going to come backgrounds in the 8x8 and the 8x8 collection of the, the regular um, Sir Vagabond in Fantasy World. So those are the core designs of the paper. So next we're going to go to some chipboard die cuts. Now I'm going to get a little bit closer here. Just a little bit closer. I've got lots of shadows here today because it's cloudy outside. I asked Julie if I could open this up because I wanted to see what was in them. What do we have? We have lots of stuff in here. Lots of stuff. Just kind of put them out here. Lots of some flowers, lots of gears, butterflies. That beautiful red rose. This Roman image, a beautiful moth image, a sentiment, the power of imagination, some more ge gears, buttons, flowers, butterflies, a little heart lock, some keys, keys are always good, a castle of sorts, I'm not sure what kind of um, looks historic, What is that? Is that a mirror? I'm not sure what that is. Sometimes we need fantasy to survive the reality. Some more architectural images. A mythological feature. Another sentiment. Not all those who wander are lost. Some more flowers. You 
can never go wrong with flowers and you can use these in other collections. A buckle. Here's that interesting flower made out of, looks like metal parts. Some corner pieces, another heart lock, strength, another mystical image, another, I guess, frame, some more rounded gears, architectural images. Oh, I like these, I like these butterflies. I like these butterflies. I love butterflies. Butterflies, another key, and another butterfly. So that is what comes in your die cuts, your chipboard die cuts. So these chipboard die cuts, they're pretty, they're pretty strong. They're substantial. So I'm going to package these up, and I'll be right back. So it also comes with adhesive ephemera pieces. So once again, I am going to open this up because I want to see what's in there too, just like you. It's so nice that they're adhesive. <laughs> They've already been cut out for you. So those of you that, that don't like fussy cutting, which I am not a good fussy cutter myself, Let's see, what do we have? I'm going to put, ooh, and they got like a gold shimmer to them. I don't know if you can see that. These, these are gorgeous. Look at some gold shimmer, some flowers. I don't know if you can see that gold shimmer. So I'm going to put the flowers over there. Lots of flowers. You can see the, the shimmer on this one. Oh, that's interesting. Trying to get all the flowers in one place. Another one of those flowers. Here's our rose. Here's that, that metal sunflower type image that over there. The magic mirror. The castle. Another flower. Some gears. These, these are all shimmery. Every one of these has that shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that shimmer. This has, this has like a coppery shimmer to it. Another beautiful butterfly, a corner piece. Oh, that's interesting. The, the steam engine, that's been cut out. That's nice. Some architectural images. Um, this one of this mystical creatures. It has like a shimmer. All these have shimmer. They're beautiful. Another die, I mean, gear. Another button. Here we have our butterfly again. Some more gears, and these are all with that shimmer on them. If you can see that. Another interesting flower. Architectural designs. Some interesting gears, all with that beautiful shimmer. A rose. A griffin. All, all shimmery. And then we just have these small bits some leaves, some gears, more leaves, and another corner rounder, quarter rounder, another corner piece right there. 
So I'm going to put these all back and then I'll be back with the rest of the collection. Next in, is the, in the collection is their basic wooden shapes. These are pretty substantial if you've ever had their wooden shapes. These are, they're as thick as chipboard. Um, they're pretty thick. Very, not, not a lot of images, but very pretty. Wooden shapes. And then we come to washi tape. It's a washi pad. Now I use washi tape, but I've never really used it in my mini journals. And if you guys have, I'd like to hear um, how you how you use it. I'm going to take this out because I'm interested in in seeing what these are like. I suppose one of the good things about washi images is you can they're removable, so you can place them and move them around but you still have to cut them out. So they're, they're, you cut them out. So here's sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. So a lot of the same images we, we've seen, but in washi form. Uh, I like, I always like these astrological ones. Feels good to be lost in the right direction. And some washi strips. These are always nice to have. More washi strips. And these are, looks like they're the same. So, yeah, um, those of you that have used washi in your mini albums, if you could put down in the comment section how, how you've used them and, and what do you do with them. Those are beautiful, and I do love washi. So next we're coming to the rice paper. I love rice paper. Those of you that have worked with it know this is beautiful rice paper. So it comes in a pack of six, six printed rice papers. The, the first four, and I'll go over them, you can actually buy separately. You don't have to buy all six. So let me take these out. So here is this beautiful image, and it has that shimmer to it. It has that gorgeous shimmer to the paper. So that's image one, it's called the Mechanical Rose. That's image one. Image two is this one. The they call this the Mechanical Sunflower. This one is called White Flowers. Closer white flowers, they all have that shimmer, that beautiful metallic type shimmer. White flowers. This is called Griffin. So those first, those first four that I just showed you, you can buy those separately. Now these last two only come if you buy the, the full pack of all six. So here we have that steam engine. And the last one is just a muted, um, still has that metallic sheen, but it's a muted image. So very nice. I like, I like, I love rice paper. So let me put these back. Now the last thing we have are these decorative chips and I've never used them. This first one is called Travel. It says Fantasy Travel, Endless Journey, Mystery. And you can see this. 
and this one is called Ornaments. So you can see that. So all these are now shipping. We have them all in stock. So go to our website, www.scrapandcreate.com and see what you would like. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Lots of comments. Lots to choose from. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.